Hello reformers and welcome back to the last days of the third age. Now we're still here with Bear Uruk and uh, we are currently embroiled in a bit of a battle for some prisoners. Now these guys, <laughs> you can currently see many of your enemies are fleeing from battle. Yes, exactly. They are not very good. These guys are just literally some wild goblins and uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna very easily be defeated. But it will give me an opportunity, actually wait a minute, let me just charge everyone in first. It will give me an opportunity to give you a little bit of a rundown of what has happened since the previous episode. Now in the previous episode, obviously we kind of had a bit of difficulties and a catastrophic thing happened, but we're not going to remember that. Thank you very much. We're just going to move on and uh, rise above it. And uh, so what has happened is I went back to the hunting camp and also to the gates of Moria and I just basically recruited a whole bunch of people and uh, I've been attempting to level them up as you can see right there. Now, amusingly enough, I'm not entirely sure why, but I did have a maximum company size of 47 when I recruited all of these guys, but now I have a weekly company size, weekly company? No, a company size of 42. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. I guess that's just how it is. And we're going to be taking these Dunadain units right here. This is a Master Ranger. I can only assume it's going to sell for a very, very large amount, or at least I can hope so. And otherwise, what we're going to do now, we have obviously this from Grima who we can go back to very soon. I've actually been killing quite a few tribal orc parties, so hopefully that's going to give us a good amount of resource points. And then, of course, we do have to deliver this message to Master Bolg the Lesser, who is actually at the Gates of Moria. And uh, we do have this other one, which is, of course, the one where we kind of had problems beforehand. And then there's also rescuing four prisoners. Now, rescuing prisoners, that is going to be a little bit difficult for us because I'm not entirely sure how the prisoners uh, get captured and which ones, you know, which party actually captures those prisoners. So I guess we're just going to have to look. And then we have this one, which I actually didn't even realize we had, which is to go to Isengard and speak with Christopher Lee, I mean, uh, Saruman himself. Yes. Anyway, we're going to go and uh, try and send that scouting party over once again to the elves. If we are unable to do it, however, then of course we're just going to... Wow, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm pleased that we have good spotting skill, or at the very least a little bit of spotting skill. I really did not want to attack those guys. What about these fellows? Bjorning Scouts. Uh, okay, they're actually, they're actually elves, aren't they? Yep, they are Mirkwood Elves. They are going to absolutely murder us, aren't they? Let's try it. Oh my, this is 47. Just just get this get this straight here. 47 against 7. I'm pretty sure we're going to... Uh, are we going to lose this? Are we going to lose against such a, well, vastly outnumbered enemy? If we actually end up losing this, this is going to be very embarrassing. Bear in mind, I still do not have a shield. I just didn't pick one up for some reason. My previous shield was so good that I'm kind of disappointed that we lost it, but I'm, I'm kind of hoping maybe we'll pick one up at some point. It's a highly unlikely thing to do that because obviously, bear in mind, there are race restrictions in place. You can actually disable those race restrictions if you want to, but I kind of feel like using a human shield or something like that, or a man shield in this, in this respect, is probably not going to be... Yeah. Too, too thematic, and obviously I said that I was not going to use Dunland units either because they are technically men. So anyway, uh, yeah, at least we were pretty easily able to beat those guys. I'm actually kind of surprised that they decided to attack us. Then we have a Lothlorien patrol coming at us right here. Oh my. Well, that's not very good, is it? That is not very good at all. All right, so... Deep Dweller of Moria, or an Orc Chieftain of Moria. I don't know exactly which one is best. I suppose what we're going to do is we're going to take two of each, and we'll just see which one... It uh, What? The Orc Chieftain seems so much better than the de Deep Dweller, because just look at the Orc Chieftain. It just gains armor. So let's actually just take a quick look at the stats here. 170. It's got 10 in Iron Flesh. This Orc Chieftain is crazy good. Okay. Well, uh, your services are now more urgent back home in Moria than here with me. Why? Why would I say that? Oh well. Deep Dweller, let's have a look. 
Much less iron flesh. Maybe more power strike? A little bit of... Oh, okay. They are skirmishers. They're basically skirmishers. They have thrown weapons and all kinds of things like that. So that's the reason why they are a little bit less armored. I'm actually thinking we might be able to do this. I know that we did have a little bit of a problem in the previous episode with elves. But I think we might... I don't know. I don't have a... Okay. You know what? We're just going to give it up for now. I'm actually moving slower than these guys. Oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, dear. Okay. Well, I don't exactly know what else I can do here. I, I guess... You know what I'm going to do? I'm literally going to try and stand at the very back of the battlefield here. And we are going to try to lure them in, so to speak. I don't exactly know whether that's going to work out too well, because bear in mind, they are elves and they can probably, yeah, they can shoot at us from across the map and probably do so much damage. It is such a sad thing that the Lothlor... Loth ah, yes, great. Lothlorian, I don't know why that's difficult for me to say, but Lothlorian, yes, there we go. The Lothlorian patrol was just coming over from nowhere and I thought to myself oh yes I know what's going to happen now and they're gonna bring a friend with each other and uh, it's gonna be absolutely awful now I am doing a little bit of a sneaky sneaky thing right now because I mean you know we are technically the forces of evil you know so we're gonna try our very best to be a little bit sneaky and maybe try to murder the elves personally I think we would be able to defeat the Lothlorian patrol. Can you please not get killed by that royal archer? That would be very much appreciated. Anyway, personally, I feel like we would have been able to kill the patrol that intercepted us just here by itself, and maybe with a couple of other people, but I don't think... Personally, I don't think we're going to be able to defeat all of these guys. I mean, the enemy has 43. They've just killed two of us already, which is not very good at all. And we don't have very good units, just bear that in mind. These are basically the units that I just reassembled very, very quickly. And uh, without without too much preparation, to be honest, there's not much more I can do. So I guess... Uh, uh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's a little... They're horse archers as well, which is going to make things very, very difficult for me. Right. Well, uh... I, yeah, th there's there's not much there's not much I can do really, which is really kind of a shame. Uh, I I guess you know what I I guess I'm gonna have to abandon this quest personally. I I don't think I'm gonna be able to to do it, which is kind of a shame. It's also kind of a shame that these guys are running away from me, considering I'm actually beating them one on one, which is kind of amusing, considering I don't have a shield. But yeah, it's kind of. Sad that that is actually happening right now. Maybe uh, maybe I can just get a couple of levels. There we go. There's, there's level 10. Thank you very much. Give me that. And uh, now you're going to slaughter me, I suppose. Yes, there we go. I mean, they do have literal Rivendell cavalry and everything here. So I guess that is to be expected. Oh, well, never mind. That's, uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. That is just how it goes. And we're going to leave. And uh, what did I lose? Did I lose anything good? No, it seems like I didn't actually lose anything good. So that's actually not even a big deal. And, uh, well, yeah, we're left with literally nothing once again. I will try to rebuild my army a little bit. And uh, we're just going to deliver the letter, actually, to the fellow in the Gates of Moria here. And maybe, who knows, maybe we have enough now to be able to recruit that medic companion. Because he was just absolutely amazing. And it would be really awesome for us to have him join us. I don't exactly know whether we have enough, but I'm going to just deliver this. Where is... Where's Bolg? Where, where, where's Bolg the Lesser? Where are you? Oh, it is night time, isn't it? So maybe he's not around at the moment. That could be... Yeah, that's probably the reason. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I'm, I guess I'm just going to check to see whether I actually do have... Uh, yes... No? Oh, I need 18 more rank points. Oh, wow. I need a huge amount. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'm still working on your task. Thank you very much. And uh, there's a Moria chief right here. 
How can I serve our cause? I was looking for an able commander like you. There's this group of particularly troublesome goblins. They have infested the neighborhood and are preying on supply trains and stray warriors. They have avoided all our patrols up to now. If someone doesn't stop them soon... Oh, all right. A hundred resource points of Moria and a bunch of other things. So why not? Let's do it. Hunt down troublesome goblins. Sounds like a good idea. We can also go in here, in here and very, very easily get a whole bunch of units. Bear in mind... These guys are, well, technically in this mod, units are very easy to come by, at least for the forces of Mordor and Isengard. Seems like they're pretty easy to get because I can literally just hire 30 of these guys in no time at all. And then we're back up and running, basically, with the exception of obviously having very, very low level troops. So, yeah, we're going to have to, I guess, uh, oh, there's the troublesome goblins. They literally have 30. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, mountain goblins. Okay, they're not actually going to be even that difficult for us by the looks of things. So I guess I'm just going to attack them and we'll see how we do. It is basically orcs against mountain goblins. They're, they're kind of similar, I suppose, in a couple of respects. But anyway, let's... Uh, wow, this is actually a really cool environment to fight in. I don't know whether you can see, but there seems to be a white tower over there. And we have some... Some waterfalls in the distance as well. But anyway, we are going to just try our very best here. I mean, these mountain goblins, we should really win against them. Even if we lose half of our band here, I think we should be absolutely fine. So let's see if we can pull it off. Now, as I said, basically with that scouting the town thing, I'm actually not going to try to do that unless I get a little bit more in the way of... Pathfinding, I think that's probably going to be the only thing that I can really do to accomplish it successfully because if I'm able to get a little bit more pathfinding, I'll have a lot more speed getting in there and then I'll be able to escape easier as well. So obviously that is a big, big deal. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a couple of kills here as well. That would be kind of nice. There we go. I mean, these mountain goblins are obviously not going to be as... You know, they're not going to be as uh, rich in terms of experience points to give us in comparison to, for example, the elves. So killing these is really not going to give us that many that many levels at all. But I'm helping out, you know. I'm helping out our forces. Take them out. There we go. All right. Yeah, and as I said, I did not really want to spec into medic skills either. But I'm just very pleased that we were able to gain... A, uh, a companion, or at least have the prospect of being able to gain that companion. Okay, so we actually got some good quality metal scraps right here. We also gained a, an orc sledgehammer, which is pretty decent, really. I mean, if you think about it, it seems pretty decent. I guess I'm going to use it just for taking prisoners. I mean, that seems like a, a good a choice as any. And, uh, yeah, I was hopeful that we might be able to gain something else here. Oh, a large wooden club might actually be better for me. It has five less blunt damage, but it has a little bit more speed, and it can be used to block, so I'm going to use that instead. And we did gain a couple of resource points and all that sort of thing. So let's go back in. I'm actually going to wait until the morning. And then hopefully Bolg the Lesser will be here again. I'm not entirely sure if he's going to be, but if he is, then that's fantastic, because then I can speak to him about the letter and everything. But if he isn't, then I suppose we just have to deal with it. No, it seems like he is not here. We gained five rank points. Okay, so we need 13 rank points remaining with the Gates of Moria now. We also gained a couple of resource points with them. And uh, is there anything else? The garrison commander here is looking for a resourceful warrior to take a group of slaves to Dol Gadur. Well, that should be easy enough. The group must arrive at Dolgador within 20 days. Sooner is much better. Ah, oh, well. Okay, but it must be absolutely no later than 20 days. Okay. Oh, 307 resource points. That's actually pretty good. Okay. You can find them right outside the town. After you take them to Dolgador, return back to me and I'll give you your pay. Ah, okay. So I don't get the pay on delivery. Interesting. Uh, okay, well, I'm a bit worried about that. Okay, so there's the Moria slaves, and they are accompanying me. Yes, they are accompanying me, so that's good. I'm just going to get a whole bunch of... You know what? Let's get... Let's get a 2 to two to 1 ratio, and we'll just get 20 goblins and 10 archers. 
and then we'll just we'll just go with that. I, I I'm actually a little bit uncomfortable with only having goblins in my army because in general, you know, having Uruks around is is kind of uh, a little bit more, shall we say, reassuring because they're much much better in terms of their physical prowess. But well, I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Okay, so where's Dolgador? Where? Is, oh, it's all the way over there. That is a fantastic place to be, isn't it? You absolute imbeciles. Why did you build it there? I have no idea, but we're not going to be able to go past this. That is a sure thing. Not going to be able to go past that. So we are going to go instead all the way around. And we'll see how it goes. Look, there's another one. Are you serious? Look at that. They're actually following us like nothing else right now. Are they really? Are they really going to follow me all the way over here? You better turn back now. You better turn back now, you hear? Yeah, you better. You better turn back. Otherwise, uh, bad things are going to happen to me. Yes. I'm sure they don't mind. Uh, not enough man flesh, not enough fun. Oh, uh, well, yes, I, I understand that. I understand that you want man flesh. But, uh, lads here think I be better commander for them when I kill you. Oh. Well, that's exactly what you get when you just have goblins in your army, isn't it? Even though this guy is... I, I, I don't think he's... Is he a goblin? Maybe. He's taking a absolute battering. No, no, he's an orc. He's an orc. All right, well, there you go. We actually did <laughs> absolutely murder him. No problem at all. And, uh, yes, hopefully that has, shall we say, quashed the rebellion. And we now have 20 extra morale from that, which is pretty good. Okay, so are they, are they serious right now? These elves, they are the quintessential harassers, aren't they? Okay, well, hmm. I guess I just have to give them a very, very wide berth here and just try to get away from them and uh, keep my Moria slaves intact. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to cross the river around here instead of having to go all the way into elf territory. There's a bunch of tribal orcs, but I'm not going to go any closer to those Lothlorian elves, that would just be the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? Just literally going to fight a band of tribal orcs innocently enough, and then elves, once again, popping in to say hi. Yes, now, well, it seems we can actually go across here. So that's pretty fantastic. Ah, uh, Dunedain patrol, really? Okay, uh, you know what? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what I can do here to speed myself up. I can't actually speed myself up in any way right now. There's literally nothing nothing that I can do with the exception of disbanding a couple of units and making myself quicker that way, which might actually make sense, even though that's literally something I do not want to do. Oh well, any, anyway, I'm just going to get some more power strike just so that I can kill people quicker. That's literally all I'm wanting to do right now. And how, how fast is he? That guy's moving at 6.7. Looted your items. It literally says that this guy looted our items. Isn't that wonderful? And we also have these foragers over here. Wow, the elves and the Dunedain men are absolutely awful people. Really. Okay, well, uh, you know what? Let's lose half of each of our groups here. How, how, how quick am I? I'm at moving at 6. That's not enough. It's not enough to get away, but it might be enough. Oh no. No, 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 no. Not those guys. Not those guys again. Okay. Uh, pull back. Leaving some soldiers behind. That's literally all I can do right now. That is literally all I can do. And these guys. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes. Go in there. Thank you very much. Okay. We are going to move in to help cover the troops. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. Alright, so this gives me an opportunity to take some of these elvish bastards prisoner with my wonderful, wonderful two-handed mace. And they are literally going to take and, and indeed taste my wrath. Because, well, that, that, well, if I can actually hit them. That's, uh, that's the first. The first hurdle. Yes. There we go, there we go. Come on, take them out. Yes, there we go. We actually did knock one of these Rivendell... Rivendell people unconscious. There we go. And, and 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 another one. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Yes. And there is a huge cave troll, if you didn't already see it. 
That is crazy. I want one of these. I would very much like one of these. It's a very, very slow person, but it's uh, it's, work it's, it's working pretty well by eliminating people. Is that... That's... M There's Bolg the Lesser. I need to speak to you, person. I mean, sir. Yes. Because we need to deliver a letter to him. And he needs to be told that his pie is ready at the bakery. I'm sure he's very, very pleased to get the man flesh pie. Yes. Anyway, there we go. We were successful. Am I going to be able to take those guys uh, prisoner and, uh, you know, sell them and things like that? That would be kind of nice. Oh, uh, well. Goblin of Moria. We're just going to rescue that. Apparently, we're unable to take those guys prisoner, unfortunately. Uh, I don't exactly know why that is. Oh, hello, Celeborn's host. Oh, you're very fun, aren't you? He, he only has 37. Oh, you really thought? You really thought? Come on now. Is that elf arrogance? Yes, I think it is, because did you see that? He was like, I'm going to follow Bear Uruk into battle and try to murder him in many ways, like my troops have already done. And uh, and then these guys, you know, Bolg the Lesser, he was like, I got your back, Bear Uruk. And that's exactly what he's doing. He has our back, and he is making sure that we don't get preyed upon in this very moment. Obviously, uh, he's probably not going to cover us for any other moments, but uh, <laughs> this is a good a time as any to cover us. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm probably going to get shot in the face and killed instantly here because I'm pretty sure Celeborn uh, has a pretty fantastic army full of very, very accurate archers, as you can quite clearly tell. And uh, we're just going to tell everyone to charge in. I actually don't think I'm the one commanding these guys. So me telling them is really not going to make any difference. But we're going to try and maybe take a couple of them prisoner. Or at the very least try and get a couple of levels. So let's see if that actually works. I'm going to try and just stay within the Zerg, so to speak, of all of the orcs here. Because we really do not want to... Uh, 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 hello. No, you're not going to... You're not, you're not going to kill me just yet. Some of your archers have that privilege. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Okay, come on now. Let's sneaky, 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 sneaky. Oh, That was... Uh, <laughs> maybe me saying sneaky, sneaky kind of let them know what I was attempting to do right there. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a victory, but we are losing a whole bunch. It seems like, to me, the uh, forces of the elves and the, and the men in... Uh, and maybe the dwarves as well in Middle Earth are obviously much more to do with having higher quality units than the forces of Isengard and the forces of Mordor because they're probably going to be more likely to lose units because they are expendable. You know, they are expendable. They're not necessarily required to stay alive to be actually able to do things. For example, you can see here these Lothlorian veteran archers and veteran wardens and so on and so forth. They, in my opinion, probably will have much better stats, much better gear than someone of the same tier. Like these, uh, these orcs right here. They probably have much lower proficiencies. Obviously, I'm, I'm just speaking from, you know, complete presumptiveness here. I, I, I really do not have any information regarding that because I haven't looked at the troop trees yet, which might actually be a really good idea. So maybe we're going to take a look at that after this and just see exactly what we were fighting. And uh, there you go. Good to see you here. Yes, now we must be sure to press our advantage. And uh, yeah, celebrate your victory. Okay, so uh, did you do you want to give me some... Uh, some reputation with you or something? Eh, that doesn't seem like he wants to do that. But I'm going to speak to him nevertheless, and I'm going to say, I bring a message. And we gained six rank points with Isengard. That's pretty good. And, uh, oh, look at that. You have been promoted to Crank Turner. Hmm. That's a very important jo job, isn't it? You don't look too strong. Do you need troops? <laughs> uh, no, you, you, you really don't need troops. Do you have any tasks? Eliminate six Mirkwood Elven Scouts parties. I fear I cannot do that. I'm very sorry. Okay, so let's go into the troop trees very quickly here and actually just take a quick look at the Lothlorien units. Let's have a look at the veteran archers because that's the thing that I gave as an example. You can see here the proficiencies are utterly insane. Look at that, 280. And this is a mid-tier unit. This is 
nothing to be impressed about. These master archers, these royal archers, one of these royal archers was actually part of one of the patrols that we were attempting to fight earlier. And, well, suffice it to say, you can see exactly why they are so dangerous. Power draw 9, 10 athletics, insane amounts in archery, 340 weapon proficiency. So... That's who we're up against when we try and take on some of those patrols. It's not a pretty sight in comparison to our units, which if we take a look at... Uh, wait, we could take a look at Moria here, and we could take a look at... What did we mainly have? We had a couple of Orc Chieftains, but you can see here that the maximum unit is 170 proficiency. They may have a lot of HP, and they may be able to survive for uh, you know a bit of time, but they are certainly not any match for some of those elite guards. So that's a bit of a shame. But obviously we are supposed to have many more units in our army to be able to overwhelm them. And that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. So yes, I'm going to try and get a couple more Moria goblins and a couple more Uruks. And then we'll try to progress over to Dol Gadur. I don't exactly know where our slaves are. Ha! Huh. I guess I'm going to have to find those too. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.